Hey everyone, this is Neil Barnhill with the Barnhill Golf Institute, helping you find your winning way. I'm going to show you some ideas and the fundamentals of how to chip with uneven lies. We're going to go over four different types today, which is very common when you're playing a lot of hilly golf courses or undulated. Oftentimes, a lot of these golf courses are not just playing out flat. So, uh, the uneven lies, if you, don't if you don't set up properly for this, you have no chance. Uh, you can fake it out once in a while, but for the most part, you're not going to be very successful. So, I want to go over the uphill lie, the downhill lie, the side hill above your feet lie, and also the side hill below your feet lie. So, let's jump right in. I've got an uphill lie on this one, and I want to go over how we set up properly for it. So, I'm going to put my feet about club width apart are closer together I'm gonna put about 70 80 percent of my feet weight on my left foot I lean my knees forward the center of my sternum is still behind the ball I'm not gonna be like this okay and then also you can see the grade of the slope is about like that so what we're gonna do weight forward with the legs first and then I am gonna adjust my shoulders the same angle as the slope and what that does is it allows us to swing with the heel now the main thing when you do this is not to let the gravity let your head go backwards. That's not, we gotta be very focused on staying very still. The angle of the chest is here, shoulders this way, weights on the left foot, and then I'm just gonna maintain that, and I'm gonna go like that. So it's just gonna be very still, you're solid. That way you can pick the ball. Now, here's what happens if you don't do what I just said. If you set up and you have your shoulders like this, slope's going uphill, this is what you'll see you'll see a very steep hit and it's hard to get, hit the ball solid. So that's the importance of getting the angle right with this. All right, now we're gonna move on and we'll show you how to do the downhill lie. Okay, all right, we're gonna talk about the downhill lie now and to me personally, this is one of the more challenging shots just because it feels weird to set up this way. But make no mistake about it, you need to do this. Okay, again, it's gonna be similar setup except for the shoulder angle. So remember the rule of thumb is the shoulders always go with the slope. All right, so I'm gonna put my weight, my feet are this far apart, lean forward, but then my shoulders, because it's downhill, I'm gonna get my shoulders leaning this way. Now what that, the significance of that is it's gonna allow me to swing with the heel. If I'm like this and it's gonna make me swing up, I can either hit behind it or I can top it, which is not good. So set up, ball position middle to back, lean the shoulders forward, and then you just stay down with it and that way you can swing with the slope okay and that's it's weird you'll do that in a sand trap as well the downhill lie it's important that you do this all right i'm going to give you the two side hill lies and how to set up for that as well okay we're going to talk about the side hill lie with the ball above your feet this is a uh, interesting shot you will get this from time to time when playing the things you need to do in setup are you're going to need to make sure you choke down on the club with it being above your feet. Also you're going to need to make sure you align different because when the ball is above your feet for a right handed player it's going to tend to go to the left so depending on the severity of the slope you're going to need to make that adjustment. Okay so also too you're going to need to make sure with the feet and this is true when we get to downhill a lot, your weight always goes into the heel when you got a side heel or an uneven lie. So here, weight would be 10. If I got 50-50, I'd be falling backwards. So I want to put a little bit more weight into my toes, just a little bit. So I'm now going to counterbalance that issue. And then I'm going to choke down. And then I'll play my shot. And we'll just keep it solid. And, you know, and that way we can pick it. Whoop. Wouldn't want to do that when you're playing. But we're practicing here. So I just want to show you here. And that was solid picked it right off of there and it's really easy if you get the right setup so that's important that you do that all right we're going to talk about the last one here which is the side hill downhill lie okay the last one here got a downhill lie it's below my feet and I got hit a chip so again like I was saying earlier I'm gonna counterbalance instead of going forward I'm gonna put a little bit of weight into my heels and opposite of the one above my feet, I'm gonna choke up on the club a little bit and stand a little closer to it so I'm not reaching for it and I can make good contact. Also, I'm gonna have my weight forward 
but I'm gonna make sure that I line myself a little bit left because the ball's gonna tend to go to right when I hit this shot when it's below my feet. All right, so here we go. I'll take a few practice swings, which is important, just to feel that I got the right distance from it. And there we go, and it went a little right, played for it. But getting all these setups, rewatch these videos, these are just great fundamentals to practice as far as setting up. And I look forward to seeing you next time on some more interesting vlogs and blogs that I have on barnhillgolf.com.